Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your July How They Feel Next Move and Love Messages Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Gemini, this is for truly those who want to know their person of interest, no matter what's going on, no matter your situation or whatever it may be, how they're truly feeling about you, what their next move may be and what messages and love messages, whatever they want to tell you. So if you're watching this, but you don't really care, you don't want nothing to do with this person, then I have to question why are you watching and it's probably not your reading. So this is for those who truly want to know. So hopefully it does resonate for you. So I just really have to put that right out there right away. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus male or female general collective reading please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and you definitely can flip switch reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to if it makes sense to uh, cross watchers as well same goes for you could be a reading for you so welcome in gemini i hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time all right so let's see what's going on we have gaia's garden fruition abundance reaping what you sow we have 18 which is nine which is almost completion full circle maybe new beginnings so i'm going to lay these out and then see what kind of energy i'm picking up and then we'll take it from there the word lord communication praise dishonesty 43 which is seven seven is a spiritually divinely guided energy although sometimes it can feel frustrated because we feel nothing's happening while the universe is doing its magic that's kind of energy of seven might take on it anyway so we have the phoenix here resurrection surrender to change we have 29 which is 11 which is life path soul path energy and ones are about new beginnings and we have the chess queen trust and strategizing 30 which is a three growth expansion so we have 11 3 7 9 now, the Gaia's Garden is about, you know, abundance, prosperity, you know, planting those seeds, taking care of them, and then you reap what, you know, what you sow. It can be good or bad. The word, Lord. You could have been dealing with somebody um, who felt like, you know, it was their way. You know, maybe very, maybe a little controlling, like, oh, it's my, it has to, have, you know, it's my way. Like, their word is maybe the word kind of energy. But we do see here trust and strategizing. So it could be maybe you had a hard time trusting them or they had a hard time trusting you. Something here about trust. But we do have the phoenix rising from the ashes for a new beginning here with the abundance coming in as well. And this person may be realizing that maybe how they were, like if it was, like, oh, it, it always has to be my way, whatever, you know, and maybe... If it caused some sort of, I don't know, uh, separation or breakup or maybe you're just having a little bit of a tiff right now, um, maybe they're starting to realize, you know what, maybe, you know, the things I've done or said or my attitude is kind of like I'm reaping what I sow kind of energy. So we'll see how this is going. So, I mean, I like that we have the phoenix rising from the ashes and it does say resurrection and surrendering to change so they definitely could be doing that maybe strategizing here you know, maybe how to gain um your trust i just did see the death death card just kind of fell almost in my lap so there could be like a breakup or something like that right now or you're feeling like you're on a little bit of a break or you may be fearing or thinking maybe it's time to break up or go our separate ways but we'll see how this person is feeling i'm not going to get deep into like what if i feel a certain situation what caused it and all that stuff i will be doing a no contact reading on the channel i do have a poll up on the community tab if you want to go and vote i have time to do an extra reading this month and the choices were no contact in flame you versus them and no contact is ahead so when i do the no contact i look deep into that person's energy what they're going through with their um you know why they're not contacting you whatever the situation may be here i'll dive a little bit into that but i'm mostly looking at how they're feeling next move in my messages so let's see oh the ace of pentacles hmm okay so how are they feeling towards gemini this person all right well we do have the queen of swords 
care. That could be you, Gemini. For me, that's a Libra, so maybe they could be another air sign. Or that could be you, Ace of Wands in reverse, the Fool in reverse. So the energies are kind of stuck right now in the star. So in reverse, though. So I'm, I'm getting this feeling here, definitely, that they're thinking of you because we do have the Queen of Swords here, which is your energy. But I also feel the Fool in Reverse, they may be realizing here, you know, that could also be Clarity from Source, them have an Awakening, Epiphany, Aha moment here. Um, that, you know, Fool in Reverse can be about being foolish, that they have been being foolish um, as well. The Ace of Wands in Reverse, though, I definitely feel like... Um, if this is a newer connection, they could be fearing um, that maybe, you know, the passion, you know, is being lost in the connection due to the other circumstances. And maybe they may be losing, you know, they're fearing. Maybe it's a hopeless cause here with the star in reverse as well. But we do have the energy here of how they're feeling is wanting something stable and grounded. Maybe that could go long term. Maybe having communication, conversation, clearing up the air clarity of mind something along those sorts as well they definitely feel like maybe you've put you know maybe you put a barrier up you kind of stood your ground and maybe you kind of told them like it is and now they're like whoa you know maybe i have been foolish here seven of wands in reverse so definitely could be thinking about letting their guard down here knight of cups everything came to a halt here you know whatever was moving forward in love whether it was new or fairly new or getting more serious, they definitely feel like things are on a hold up right now. Knight of Cups reverse. Again, there could be some sort of, you know, temporary break or separation or something like that with the death card. That's also about transformation. Hmm. They may be getting, you know, ready to communicate here, take action that they want a higher level of commitment here. But there's a lot of confusion about the whole situation and maybe what actions they display towards you cause this energy of now I'm reaping what I sow because of me being foolish. So they definitely are feeling abandoned, lonely, left out the cold without you. And this can be strategy as well, the seven of swords. It's not always lies, deceit, blah, blah, blah. It can be, but this is strategizing on the chess queen and the seven of swords can be strategizing as well because they do see you as their empress or emperor, whatever it is for you. A lot of, you know, thinking about the whole situation, thinking about you and how to manifest this new beginning here. That is Gemini Virgo right there. So let's see. We have Taurus, Aquarius, uh, two cards of Aquarius here. And this could be Libra. It could be you, Gemini, or maybe it's another air sign. All right, so let's get a little more here about how they're feeling about you. And also, Gemini, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist, pin top, comment, description box, your playlist, list of readings I do here, my backup channel, my other channel. You can sub there if you don't want to lose me. All right. All right, Gemini. So let's see more about how they're feeling towards you. How are they feeling towards Gemini? Oh, that hierophant showing up again. King of Pentacles. They could really be thinking about being a loyal, dedicated, more stable, grounded partner here. I kind of see, it's weird that these, the King and Queen is more like a shadow figure. And I see that uh, Pentacle, like in the thought process, in the shadows of their mind, what they're thinking and feeling, um, is being more stable, grounded on a committed level. Definitely with the Hierophant next to it here, doing the right thing. Strength in reverse. So they definitely feel like things don't feel the greatest right now in the situation between you five of swords i definitely feel with the fool in reverse they did something foolish or sometimes the way they act or respond is foolish you know and sabotaging and maybe now they're starting to realize that in the judgment here so they're definitely doing you know healing forgiving releasing life review relationship review making way for new energy this is final decision uh past lives Things that are meant to be calls to action so you have scorpio leo virgo taurus there's a return with the six of cups saying and the empress here so that again they see you as their empress and coming in you know very determined here with the knight of rods 
and again the six of swords here and I kind of see these are both going in the same direction right towards the Empress so definitely here and the six of swords about you know moving into peace harmony balance and kind of trying to leave this behind us or maybe there are patterns behind there is love here with the queen of cups there's no doubt about that they do have love emotions and feelings for you so we have Libra Taurus here with the Empress so I think they've been doing a lot of thinking reviewing healing assessing their behavior the situation and what caused it and now they definitely want definitely feeling like they want to level up in a big way here and maybe they do realize that sometimes they're weak and they do things that really really are not for the greater good of this connection all right so let's see what their next move may be what is their next move towards Gemini what is their next move towards Gemini next move towards Gemini three of cups reunite they want to reunite come back together tower they're ready they had the wake up the epiphany the aha moments the wake up calls the shift the shock the change they felt it all crumbling down it was like earth shattering for them and this could really shock surprise you this could be happening like now anytime now four of rods or once in reverse though nine of pentacles magician i don't know if you guys were living together maybe for some maybe for some and maybe this person or one of you may be moved out you know maybe it got that bad or a situation got that bad so there's an energy here feeling single so if you were committed or living together or something like that and maybe one okay i'm just gonna leave for a while here and let's see what happens let's take a little break or whatever so there's definitely the energy here feeling kind of single with the nine of pentacles do i feel like there's another third party no because we have the nine of pentacles someone's very single I don't always take the Three of Cups as third party. Knight of Pentacles, that would be a yes. That's a yes card. So, but the Magician is about manifesting a new beginning. So if I'm feeling and saying, for some of you, the majority watching, I don't feel like this third party, and you're going to leave me a comment, they're the narcissist and blah, 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 and I don't really care, and they cheated. It's not your reading. Don't leave me silly comments and when you know it's not your reading. So I'm just going to delete them anyway I just I just can't take that nonsense anyway <laughs> anyway anyway Gemini this you know energy of coming in like kind of cautiously you know with the offer here but I mean ten of Pentacles could be long-term energy here I think that's what's on their mind king of swords there you are Gemini so male or female it don't matter they're coming in here with long-term energy on their mind same truth clarity. look at that the king queen of swords is a couple could be two air signs here there comes the communication travel action movement eight of rods you could be getting some text phone calls messages as well apologies sincere romantic gestures as well they definitely feel regret remorse here they get a little fear of what may come what's going to happen here but i think they're going to do it anyway so i feel like they're getting ready here to maybe send you some kind of message uh that they really want to apologize and they want to talk to you and tell you they've done a lot of deep introspection here as well right so we have aries gemini virgo right there pisces that tower could be like right now so something could be happening like right now or soon so let's see more about uh, their next moves here. Let's see more about their next moves here for Gemini. Gemini. Let's see. Two of Swords. You may have blocked them. Ten of Swords. So they're definitely feeling that energy if it's over. But they're going to communicate anyway. 
text, phone call, or messages. Seven of Pentacles. You know, they've been assessing the whole situation very carefully. Their behavior, the whole situation. And it's about investing in the world. So they want to close out this cycle, this energy, whatever happens. It's about starting a new cycle here as well. Could be either traveling or coming from a distance. But two, I mean, that could be either any time now, uh, two weeks maybe. I think you're going to expect, um, they're going to come cautiously, you know, with a text, a phone call, or a message about starting a new cycle here. So, again, definitely some of you, if you're like, no, they're blocked, it's over, never going back, then fine, that could be it. Also, it could be not be a reading. Four of Pentacles. So, they they feel the, hold back, the held back in the resistance, but they have that fear about all the situations that's happening here in the, you know, lost regret, sadness because you definitely are their empress. Let's see what's on the bottom. Three of rods. Again, this could be happening very soon in the near future. Now to like two to three days or weeks, ace of swords. So there has not been any probably communication or clarity here. Knight of swords. Again, you know, this is coming very cautiously with the knight of swords reversed. And temperance. So they're hoping things can align Soulmates can come back together here. Peace, harmony, joy, balance, patience, past life, things that are meant to be here. So they're definitely hoping for that. All right, so we have Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio showing up here. All right, so let's see. Let's see, Gemini, what they want to say to you what they want to say to you. I mean, when we saw the, was it the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles? I think it was at the bottom of the deck a little bit ago. First card of Ace of Pentacles. So they definitely have, I should write it down so I don't forget the title. They have a long term on their mind, definitely here. All right, so let's see what they want to say to you. What else do they want to say to Gemini? Queen of Rods, our chemistry, our attraction, our passion is like no other. You inspire me, you invigorate me, you um, make me feel more alive, creative. Four of Pentacles, I know I've been holding back, resisting a little bit here maybe. Page of Rods in reverse. Sometimes the way I react or say things I do out of maybe fear or anger or not thinking right. I know that. I need to hold back before I communicate sometimes and think about what I'm going to say first. Nine of Rods. It's something they struggle with. Nine of Rods. They know that. So they're going to be very upfront with that. I know I struggle with thinking before I put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> That's definitely a big thing for them. Look at that. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So definitely here. And again, I think of what someone is thinking with the images here. They definitely are thinking about being more stable, grounded. They want to be. And they definitely have long-term energy on their mind. So we have Capricorn, um, Aries here, Wheel of Fortune. They're definitely feeling like things are stuck right now, not moving forward. But again, they're going to come in cautiously here with the Knight of Pentacles, very cautiously. Again, there it is again, the Knight and the Ten coming cautiously, but they have long-term energy thoughts on their mind with their empress or emperor whatever it is for you we can build grow slowly it's okay we'll take our time and it could have to do about trust i mean we did see that there but they are heavily thinking about you here with the four of cups it definitely could be a time of no communication right now but three of wands something's definitely happening here soon all right so let's get some of these for you gemini and i gotta fix my chair Sorry. Okay. All right, Gemini. So let's see what else they want to say. So if this does resonate or you enjoy it, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. And again, everything you need is below. So let's see what else they want to say to you for Gemini. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> my gosh. We got commitment and action. Look at that. So they're going to be taking action here because they have long term on their mind. Wow. Okay. That confirms what I just said. All right. What else? 
for Gemini. What else do we need to know? Gemini. Empathy. So they hope that you can be a little empathetic. Or they're going to they're gonna definitely try to be a little more empathetic, understanding before they do or say, you know, I feel like they do and say things sometimes without thinking their actions, and they're definitely working on that. That is for sure. And they're hoping you'll have a little empathy towards them and understanding. Uh, they definitely want to have that energy between you. What else for Gemini? And then maybe one, too, that, you know, maybe at times they've done those things and then right after they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know, apologizing a lot. But maybe, you know, something recently happened where it was just like, I just can't take it anymore. So this really, really probably was the wake-up call they needed. Compassion, yeah. Empathy and compassion towards each other. Definitely here. And respect. So definitely here. So I, I don't think there isn't any respect. I think they want to tell you that they do have tons and tons of respect for you. But maybe sometimes they just let their emotions, feelings, anger, whatever get the best of them without thinking the things uh like i said through first definitely here what's below that discernment yeah something about maybe they don't make the best decisions either so i did speak of creativity something about sparking um creativity within them maybe somebody writes or is a musician or an artist in some way shape or form that can be it as well all right, Gemini, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need is below. I'm wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.